Hey there all, time for another magic, the magical vase. Over here I have a vase and inside the vase we have a white ball. Just take the ball over here and just keep it safely away from everyone and hide it off. Watch carefully, just close the lid and say the magic word, hey presto, and there have the ball reappearing back and that's magic. The secret to the magical vase lies in its lid. Over here we have a half lid which can be opened just like this and over here there is a half ball so that is concealed under the main lid. Once you have taken away the actual ball all you do is you take the lid, you close it back with a magical gesture and open the half lid with the base being over there and that's how you reproduce the magical ball. Thank you. The growing dice. Over here, I have a dish close with another one. Inside that, you can see this is small dice. I'll just close it with the lid again. And say the magic word, hey press two. And there, you can see it's grown into a bigger one. And that's how you do the growing die match. Now, for the explanation of the growing die. The secret lies in the lid over here. Over here, you can see. There's the lid covering the big die and under the big die is another base supporting a smaller die. So the smaller die goes into the hole of the bigger die just like this. So to begin with, you take the bigger die and the shell, place a small shell over on top and keep this over here. Close it with the bigger one, say the magic spell and open to reveal the bigger dies. And that's how you do the growing die magic. The rabbit paddle. Over here you can see a paddle and it's blank on this side. On the other side it's blank as well. But every magic is not complete without a rabbit paddle. I know you all love rabbits. Just think of a rabbit and look over here. Just think, just keep thinking of your rabbit. And there you have the rabbit appearing. It's not here on this side, it's on both sides. Now you can see the rabbit has appeared. And now for the explanation the rabbit. So the paddle is applied blank on one side and there's a rabbit and a hat on the other side. So to begin with, you will show the blank side. The move involved here is called the paddle move. To begin with, place the paddle in your finger like this and on the count of one, turn it towards your anti-clockwise side or to your forward side, that is one. And when I say two, turn it backwards. Two. One. Two. 1, 2 and all you need to do is to synchronize this 1, 2 movement with this flipping movement. So that is 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2 and to produce the rabbit just wave the paddle and give it a quick flip and once you have flipped keep waving it don't stop immediately and again repeat the 1, 2 synchronization that is 1, 2, 1, to, to show that it's the same rabbit on both sides and that's how you do the paddle move. Now for a very classic magic. Over here I have three cups and inside them I have three cubes. So there's one, two and three all apart. Now I'll place the cups over here. One, two and three. As you can see they all are solid. We'll keep one sponge over here and give it a tap and there it penetrates all the way down. We'll do this again. It's one, two and three. Take the cube, we'll keep it over here. Again snap and now you have two cubes right over there. I know this is getting interesting. We'll do again. One, two, and three. And the third cube on top of this. Again, snap. And there, you have three cubes right in this cup. Now, for the explanation of the cups and cubes match. So we supply you with three cups. 
three plastic cups and not three but we supply you a fourth extra cube so to start off with you need to place one cube in the bottom cup and stack the others on top of it once you arrange the three cubes one two and three all you need to do is take it and keep the cups like in the same order from your right to left or to your left to right while you're doing that make sure the tube does not flip out so i'll do it take the first cup one two three right now our last cup was holding the secret cube the extra cube and it's inside the one to my extreme left that is towards your extreme right so remember that order you keep one cube on top you cover it with the others snap that comes to the bottom now as you all notice the middle one is holding the extra cube so that is one over here and you can see the extra cube is right over there so we'll just place this one over here and this one together with the other cube and the third one over here so all we do is like this one two three cups and again snap and there you have it the two cubes appearing together again the loaded sponge is to the second cup so we'll just keep it over here we'll keep the second cup towards these two cubes and we'll keep the third one over here one on top one two and three snap and there you have the three cups and the three cubes all in one thank you now for some mind reading over here i have a cube inside the box there's a die but instead of dots we have different different numbers written all sides of this die so what i'll do is that you hand over this to a spectator and ask them to select any number for example say 3 if you select the number 3 the number 3 will come on top and they will close the lid like this and then they'll hand over the box to you so in this case as we don't have a spectator I'll just do it myself closing my eyes okay so we have a number over here we have the lid closed okay done Take it to your back side and then ask them, think of your number. Once they thought, go back and just try to get a glimpse. Okay, the number, the number, I see a number. I see quite a huge number, not a small number. And when I say huge, I say, I think the number is six. We'll check it out. We'll bring the box forward and yes, it is six and that's how you do the number wish for the explanation part on how you can do this miracle to begin with all you need to do is instruct your spectator very carefully that whatever number they take that number should come on top let's see your spectator is going with the number two so two is at the top and you close it and when you go back behind what's happening is you're flipping the lid open and to do that all you do is this much you flip it to open as it is a perfect cube no one will understand the lid cover has been moved to the sides when you bring it forward you can get a quick peek of the number do a quick peek and take it behind once you've taken it behind repeat the same procedure and close the lid again so once you close, bring it forward and open the lid to reveal the number, which is 2 in this case. Thank you. Time for another match. Call your spectators and show them that you have 3 cards with you. 2 red cards with the joker sandwich in between them. Flip the card over and ask them to pull out the joker. So all they do is pull the joker out and show it to them that you have only 2 cards remaining. So once that is done, you have magical wave and joker changes into the ten of time. One card is a specially prepared card with a half card. A joker is cut diagonally and kept over here. So you can just squeeze in any other card to the same part. 
and then all you do is cover the third card on top of it revealing only one corner of the joker so once you flip when your spectator chooses the middle card they're actually pulling out the concealed card which is 10 of diamonds in our case and all you do is pull that out show that you have only two cards remaining give it a magical wave and there it changes so this is how you do the magic the bunny and the horse puzzle the challenge is to make the single piece of bunny ride both these horses you have three trips and you can challenge anyone for this puzzle and for the explanation on how we do this the solution is simple all you do is create, keep all these two horses together and keep this vertical strip of bunny right across them and there you can see now the bunny is riding both the horses and that is the solution to this puzzle the seven second boot puzzle the challenge here is to make both these balls each one go to their respective sides at the extreme corner simultaneously you can challenge any person to solve this puzzle in less than seven seconds now the solution all you need to do is keep this boot firm on a level surface and give it a gentle tap so that it spins around and as you can see every time it spins the balls go to both the sides and that is how you solve the 7 second boot puzzle okay. the pyramid puzzle the challenge here is to make a pyramid out of these two simple pieces and now for the solution to the pyramid puzzle all you need to do is find the two rectangular sides on both the pieces keep them together and turn it clockwise or anti-clockwise 90 degrees place them together and gently turn it and once you do that you will be able to form a pyramid out of both the pieces over here I have five cards two spades on the sides and two on the other side with just one club in the middle and the club is kind of clubs. ask your spectator to remember this order and remember the ten of clubs all I'll do is I'll just flip the entire cards over and ask the spectator to clip the ten of clubs the ten of clubs being the middle card we exactly clip it but remember this is magic for the same reason you should jump to the photo space Here, we supplied you with a special card with all five cards printed together in one card and on the back side, the back designs are printed in the reverse order. So no matter how hard your spectators try, even if they try clipping the ten of clubs which is the middle card, it always clips to the forward card. And that is how you do this magic. Now for the psychic mask. Over here, I have a box of matches. Let's keep it into my hand and I'll just try thinking of opening this. If I think properly, I might be able to open it just like this. And there, that's how a magician opens a matchbox. And now for the secret. The explanation is very simple. I have a thread attached to this matchbox. One end is attached to a safety pin and the other end is threaded inside this box to the back side. So all you do is you just push it in. Keep this between your two fingers. The thread line should go like this towards the bottom and clip the other end into your belt or your waist belt. Always remember to keep your hand in your waist level and gently move your body backwards or try to lean your hand forward and that's how the animation of the matchbox opening appears so again all I do is pull over here and it comes forward hi this is obedient ball magic as the name says this ball is obedient if you look at this ball now if I drop it it drops as you can see but if I say stop, stop, go, stop, 
स्टॉप गो वंस अगेन गो स्टॉप स्टॉप गो दैट्स इट दिस इज ऑबिजन बॉल मैच ऑफ यू लाइक इट हे नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर द एक्सप्लेनेशन फॉर द ऑबिजन बॉल एज यू कैन सी हेयर आई हैव द ऑबिजन बॉल ट्रिक द सीक्रेट बिहाइंड दिस इज वेरी सिंपल एज यू कैन सी द रॉ द थ्रेड इज गोइंग थ्रू द बॉल एंड यू कैन सी द बॉल जस्ट लाइक दैट when you drop the ball and when we stretch the rock tightly the ball stop in its position and if you want the ball to go down again just loosen the rock and the ball will fall down once again when you straighten the rock tightly the ball will be in the same position and when you want the ball to fall down just loosen the rock it will fall down that's how you do obin magic or you like it Hi, it's time for some rope magic. We have three ropes with unequal length. As you can see, this is the smallest one, right? And if you can see, this is the longest one. Yes. As you can see, three ropes with three different lengths, right? And we have here one medium rope. But if you can see this here, we do abra kadabra. We just pull this rope just like that, and these three ropes are having now equal length. And now for the explanation part. As you can see, we have three different ropes with three in equal length. This is the smallest. This is the longest, and this is the medium one. We take the smallest rope, pinch it with your left thumb and index finger, keeping the little end facing towards the audience. And we take the longest one, do the same thing, keeping a little end towards the audience. After this, take the shortest rope, bottom end. and keep it towards pinch it with the thumb and index finger as we did before and do the same with the longest length and and do the same thing yes take the medium one do same here as like it is now here if you see here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 ends we focus on the second and third and the sixth end we have to hold this ends one by one just hold it togetherly and hold the top end nicely and pull it and if you pull three ropes will be equal now but from the behind you can see it's only because it's looped to each other from the front the illusion looks something like this i hope you liked it this is equal and equal rock hi there it's time for some card magic as you can see we have some cards 8 9 Ten and ace. Now, I'm going to take this ace, turn it over, place it on the table, and I'm going to make this card disappear. I'm going to make the ace disappear. If I snap my finger, the ace is gone. Yes, you heard me correct. The ace is gone. You want to see? Ace is gone. It's gone. It's time for explanation for this card magic. As you can see, we are having here eight, 
9, 10 and Ace. But the secret here is we don't have 4 cards, we have 5 cards. Yes, it's the 5th card, the Gone, it's written Gone here, that is a special card. And we have one more special card, which is Ace of Spade, Bottom will be Ten of Diamond, it's double faced card. So we have to arrange this in a manner, we take an Eight of Diamond, we take a Nine of Diamond, keep it on top of Eight of Diamond, we take Ten of Diamond, keep top on of Nine of Diamond, and you take Gone. And you take ace and ten of diamond double face card keep the ace face up and keep it on top of the gone just like that and place it on top this is the setup and now you you are the only person who knows that the gone is on the bottom of the ace of spade you hold those cards equally squared, squared with your right hand like that. Look at the grip. And these three cards just like that. And just place it. And you see the pattern. We have some cards. Eight of diamond, nine of diamond, ten of diamond, ace of speed. You can show the bottom part also. Now you square the pack. When you square the pack, you take a finger break between this ten diamond. Take the finger here, square it nicely, and these two cards square it indifferently, just like that. You say that you are going to flip over the ace of spade, which is this. When you flip over this card, actually you are flipping Ace of Spade as well as Gone. So flip Ace of Spade as so flip Ace of Spade and Gone as you are going to flip only the card Ace of Spade. So flip it and now you say the pattern. I'm going to make it disappear the Ace of Spade. So I'm going to place it here. Actually, it's a gone. It's two ten of diamond here. So you give a snap and say the ace of spade is gone. It's gone. For the presentation purpose, you can watch my performance again and again so that you can understand. Hi, it's time for some card and coin magic. It's very magical. We have two cards as you can see and one single coin I'm going to place one of the card here on the top of the coin and one card here I'm going to take the coin magically pinch to the ear and throw right here Phew. just give a snap you can see the coin it disappeared from here and it reached here I hope you like this as you can see we have two cards if you go through your kit you can find this special card it's a magnetic the special card you will find it will be a little bit thick because there are two cards stick together and in the middle there will be a magnet while you feel it you can understand that there is something metallic inside the card and that is a magnet if you take the coin here it will be attracted towards the magnet and it will stick just like magic so this is the secret card 
the audience should not know about this we take the two card and this joker is a normal card you can take any other normal card so take the magnetic card on the left hand and take the normal card on top of it and display the coin to the audience keep on the table and you are going to say that I'm going to place one single card on top of the coin just hold the card something like this normal card on top while you're going actually you're going to place the joker the normal card on top but while you go there and act like you're going to place the joker on top you actually pull out the coin with the help of magnetic card yes with the help of magnetic card so once again magnetic card on bottom top the normal card just place the card something like this you go for placing the top card on top of the coin you place the top card on the coin which you don't right you don't have any coin here okay as you can see once again magnetic card top the normal card take this focus on the metallic part and go to the center stick it to the coin and keep the top card on bottom on the top of the coin which you don't have any coin here and you will be having coin here and you're going to say that this coin is disappear it, it's going to disappear from this card and to reappear on that card do this gestures and give a snap and they will be amazed with the coin disappeared and it will reach to the left but when you show the coin in another card you pinch the card and you have to strike this coin from the card outwards so that the coin can drop and you can show the coin is in that card i hope you enjoyed and for the performance you can go to my performance and watch it again so that you can understand better thank you hi it's time for another card magic as you can see we have three cards here is joker three of hearts joker is on the middle ask the spectator to take out the joker pull the joker out yes and just hold it like this and if you can see i don't have joker here do you have joker so to us oh joker has disappeared i hope you like this magic as you can see we have three cards three of hearts which were is a normal card and we have two of hearts which is also a normal card we have ace of hearts which is not a normal card you will find this special gift card in your kit with a joker half cut it and paste it take that take the two of hearts put it inside and middle of the ace of hearts and joker take the three of hearts and put it on top of the joker now if you hide the corner and hold it like that it looks like the joker is in the middle and three of hearts is on the top and ace of hearts in the bottom so at the performance time you can explain to the spectator ace of hearts joker three of hearts and joker is on the middle face down the cards and tell them to pull out the joker they will go for the middle card 
which is not the joker it is two of hearts they place it down we square it up we give one turn like that and spread it and we say oh we don't have the joker here we ask the question to the spectator are you holding joker they will say yes and we say we snap the finger and say okay turn your finger turn the card and that will be two of hearts the joker will be gone it's all because of the special card to understand the complete trick you can watch my performance again and again i hope you liked it all the best hi it's time for some alphabetic magic trick hi as you can see we have two alphabets here this is e and this is f this is kind of a guess magic i'm going to keep this f in my pocket you have to guess which is in my hand yeah you are right e is in a hand and f is in my pocket let it be more mystical for you i'm going to keep this e also in my pocket and now i'm going to show you one by one this is the f this is the e I'm going to mix these cards both like that. More and more and more and more. Okay, now it's time for you to guess. This is the E, as you can see. I'm going to keep the E in my pocket. Now, what do you think? Which is in my hand? You said E? Oh no! E is in my hand. And in my pocket I have F that's the magic I hope you like this thank you it's time for an explanation as you can see this is E this is F to do this magic we need one more secret card it's here this is just looks like F with a dot on the bottom corner the illusion here is when you cover the dot it looks like F and when we cover the gap between the dot and the F bottom line just something like that it looks like E isn't that amazing yeah look at that to cover the dot on the dot it looks like F if we cover the gap between the dot and the F it looks like E so this is the secret to your this alphabet magic so how to set up the setup here is keep this magical card already in your pocket it's in my pocket now in the performance you explain and you can also show this card and let them go to spectators for examination you explain them this is e this is f you will be talking about the guess game and you can continue the pattern you take the e in your pocket you take the app in your pocket and you take out the magic alphabet which is this no it's not F it's the magic alphabet with a dot on it you cover the dot with the finger and take it out from your pocket which looks like F and with your another hand you take out the E yes the real E now for the spectator you have the F and E but in real case you have the magic F in your right hand covering the dot portion which looks like that you will mix the cards 
just like this and as you can see if you look at the cards you find for the magic card which is this one now it's time for you to do the magic move take the index finger cover it between the dot and the arrow. something like this and it looks like you are holding an E keep this magical card with spectator things as a E in your pocket but in reality you have the E in your hand and you ask the question to the spectator which card you are holding and which card is in the pocket of course they will be saying you are holding F in your hand but you say oh no E is in my hand and F is in my pocket you have to hold that you have to keep the magic F in your pocket and grab the real F just like that like that and for the more understanding for this magic you can watch the performance again and again until you get it I hope you like this one hi it's time for some magical card magic as you can see we have four cards seven of spade eight of spade nine of diamond ten of clubs square it up like that and we'll keep under the handkerchief just like that I'm going to take out one card here which is uh, I think seven of spade I'll keep in my pocket just like that and we'll take out one more another card which is I think the nine of diamond right and we'll keep it in my pocket so the question is how many cards are left oh you said two oh no 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 you're wrong we are left with nothing the two cards are disappeared i hope you like this magic it's time for an explanation for the four card to two card magic as you can see we have one two three four cards which seems to be a part now we have one single card seven spade and this is special card yeah this is special card ten of club nine of diamond eight of spade which is actually single card if you look at the different face here it's a nine of diamond the opposite pose but from this way, this position, you look, it looks like this is a single card which is 9 of diamond. So, go to the kit and find out this card. Take a set of spade. Keep it on top of the edge of space just like that. And while performing, Explain to the audience. This is seven of spade, eight of spade, nine of diamond, ten of clubs. Square it up and keep it under the handkerchief. But while you keep it under the handkerchief, turn it over and keep it. Ask to the audience how many cards are in the handkerchief. They will be saying four. Oh. It is out the card, which is nine of diamond, just like that. It's actually the fake card, the special card. They go the nine of diamond, but be sure don't show the opposite person. Take a nano diamond, give it a little shake and keep it in your pocket. Just like that, keep it in your pocket. And you say that I'm going to take it out one more card which is 
so to speak, and give it a point. Now ask the audience how many cards are left in there. They will be of course saying two, but you said that you can do magic and give a snap. Say your favorite magic in the world and show them the two cards are disappeared. It's all with the help of this special card. I hope you like this one and to know the exit performance style you can go to my performance again and again until you get it. Hi, this is Prediction Magic. We have six photographs of dice. One of these is going to be my prediction. Okay, uh, yeah, I think this one. This one will be my prediction. I'm going to keep it here right in front of you. And these cards, you can ask to spectator, arrange in a manner matching the last side. For example, this is two. So we go for two here. Yeah, two. Just like that. If this is three, uh, we go for three. Okay, we don't find. Okay, it's three here. Like that. And if this is four, yeah, we go for four. Like that. This is five. We don't have five here. This is one. Okay, so one. We can go for one here. That's it. We look at the end result. It's five here. It's six here. Right? It's five here and it's six here. And if you remember, I made a prediction before beginning the trick. And we have here the five here and the six here. This is a good prediction magic. I hope you like this. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome to the explanation part. As you can see we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 cards. And this trick is pretty self-working. It doesn't require any tricky hand movements. So, we begin by selecting a card as a prediction yes you can select any one of the card as a prediction any one card so just give a mix and just select any one yeah this one will be a prediction it doesn't matter which card this will be okay now instruct them to address the card in a manner that the one of the side matches the another side another card like for example here we see it's one so we go for the one like that and the next is six we go for the six here like that we go to five we go for the five here like that and it's four so we go for the four like that the end dots will be our prediction every time like this is two here and this is three here and if you look at the prediction it's the same two here three here yeah we can repeat this you know you should repeat this trick two twice to thrice selecting different cards as a prediction for example i keep this card as a prediction this time now instruct them to end same like that there's two here, we go for the two, two is here, and three here, okay, it's one here, one here, okay, and this is six, no, six, okay, three here, three is here, and this is, uh, okay, it's four here, four here, the end is six and five, as our prediction matches the result. This is very magical and mystical prediction trick. I hope you like this and you will enjoy performing this. For more understanding for this trick, you can watch my performance again and again until you get it. 
enjoy the magic.